Come on, Jamar. Come on. Oh, oh. What is good, ladies and gentlemen? I didn't jump in like I usually do because my body's sore. Uh, I just had that show with Tech Nine and uh, Strange Music at the Bourbon Theater in Lincoln, Nebraska. That was an epic night. I'm still getting my voice back and everything. Had a lot of dope conversations with Tech. Talked to him afterwards, too. We got a lot of stuff coming, man. I'm just saying, this, this is it. This is really it. This is really it. Slime Shady coming February 7th. Uh, Pre-orders will be coming up soon. Um, let's get into this, though. So, a lot of y'all sent me this and asked me what I thought. Now, I'm not going to play the video because I don't know how glad I'd be about that. Um, I watch all his stuff, honestly, a lot. And um, Lord Jamar responds to M. We're going to just listen to the audio and talk about it. Let's get into it. So, Eminem mentioned you on his new album. Again. Yes. Okay, all right. Made a whole song about me. So, you know, we knew Jamar was going to was gonna double down on that. Like, oh, you still talking about me? This, that, and the third. Which is cool. Saw that coming. But I will have to say, be fair, Jamar, because... You definitely were talking about him also, so. Stepdad. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that verse was about you. No, the whole song, Stepdad. I <laughs> see Jamar's stupid. Jamar's stupid. See, he trying to, he taking the petty route. He knows what the song is. Uh, was it I Will? Yeah, he knows the song is I Will. That's what he's talking about. But he's trying to flip the whole thing, like saying the stepdad, like, oh, I'm your father, that or this, that, and the third. All right, a little petty jab, saw that coming, not mad at it. Stepdad? Yo, <coughs> sorry, my voice is messed up, but I don't care what you think about Lord Jamar. <laughs> that face. I haven't heard Stepdad yet. I'm still in the middle of, uh, still got a, a few songs to uh, react to off that project. That song is about you. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. God, this guy got his dick in my mom. Ain't you talking about me? No? Come on, Jamar. Come on. <laughs> I'm pretty, I thought Stepdad's the one he's talking about me, no? Nah. It's uh, I will. That I'm aware of. He knows that. Which song are you talking about? Uh, 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 hold on a second. Oh, the one we had a little verse about me? Nah, that ain't as good as the stepdad. Step. See, here's the thing. Jamar is taking, uh, in the beginning of this, right now he's seeming to take a more comedic approach about it. Uh, he doesn't seem to be... Acting like he's taking it too serious, but I'm going to keep it a buck. If you can read between the lines and you can see, you know that this bothered him. It's just the, the energy in which he talked about it. I'm telling you. Dad is banging. Ah, hey, my, my, Ooh, Yo. Rocks. Let's get into I Will, and though. Come on. Song about me. Why would you just cling on to the little... All right, we get it. Let's get to the I will, though. That's what we're trying to hear. Well, the song I'm talking about is I will. Okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, featuring... I thought, I, I thought Stepdad was much better. <sighs> Come said, on. He Jamar. said, I'm a ticking time bomb. I'll cause this motherfucker who sticks his dick in my mom. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> my bad. Jamar is stupid. Oh my goodness. You could definitely tell he upset though. You could definitely tell. Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead. You want to talk about the other song. Alright, go ahead. And right here though, right here though, is where you can see I think the funny energy turns into oh I'm angry now, for real, energy. Well, the 
song is I Will. I don't know why there's such a big gap in that time. Okay. It's almost like a almost, slaughterhouse. Yeah, but, but uh, no Joe Button, so. Yeah, reunion with Joe Button. Of his I mean, I. Mm, yeah. But I'm pretty sure Slaughterhouse even said if there's four of them, if not, it's still Slaughterhouse. Pretty sure they said that. Um, I heard on the Joe Budden podcast anyway. That's what he said. But right, and, you know, that was basically they Slaughterhouse. Have their own set of issues, which right. I'm not going to touch on. But Crooked Eye, Royce, and Joel didn't say anything about you. No, they didn't. But then it gets to the Eminem part. Now don't sit here. We I know what he said. Okay. Don't sit here and try to uh, go read his fucking lyrics for him. Yeah, see, that's anger. That's anger right there. Now now we get into uh, I, I, I'm genuinely angry territory. And that's why I said it's like, I think they both try to play like each of them aren't eff- affecting each other, like their opinions. But Eminem and Lord Jamar, their opinions matter to each other. And you could tell. Just by how much they, they, they interact without really interacting. You know what I mean? We'll listen to more of some more. Okay, artists. I know what this bitch ass said. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, and that's the spice. That's the spice. Guess what? I'm still unscathed. Guess what? Motherfuckers still ain't listening to that in the hood. Come on, Jamar. You gotta look. I get it. The way that I know that you're not unscathed, I'll just. I'm keeping it a buck, Jamar. Is that you say you unscathed. I'm telling you, that's like a... We know you scathed because of the energy in which you putting off in this interview. I watch most of the Jamar interviews. Jamar is somebody who understands energy. He understands what kind of energy you bring. And you clearly, your, 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 your words don't match your energy. You know what I mean? Your, your handshakes ain't matching your smiles. What did Beanie say? I'm just saying. What? Nobody came to me in the hood and was like, yo, I just heard this Eminem song where he went at you. No, they got to read about it on media takeout and shit like that. But here's the thing, though, Jamar. Are you trying to insinuate now that people weren't hitting you up and your mentions weren't on fire? I get it. You saying that the streets didn't know what he said specifically. But you're even admitting that some people knew about it in the streets. They just knew about it through media takeout. So what's the difference if they know that somebody got on a track and disrespected you if they don't know what they said? Especially in the hood. If I knew you was disrespected on wax, I don't really... You know what I mean? Just saying. Because again, my point is proven... Nobody listens to your fucking shit. And then that's why I was uh, come on, Jamar. I'm pretty sure this album is about to break. <sighs> yeah, come on, man. You know people listen to his. his. I know who you're saying. You're saying your demographic of people don't, which I still don't believe. I still believe the people who would listen to... Uh, uh, well, let me not even say who listen to Brand uh, Nubian would listen to M, but I could definitely see people who like listen to Sadat or people who listen to Grand Poobah and stuff like that. Being fans of M, I could easily see that. Is is Poobah? No, I'm just let me. So I'm chilling right now. You could talk about me a million times, see what it is. And then here's that thing, Jamar. Listen, God. You can't say this with veins in your neck. Hold on. So I'm chilling right now. You could talk about me. You can't say that with veins bulging out your neck. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? So I feel you You want to be chill about this, but it's also cool. To me, if you was going to talk about this and embrace this like this, you might as well have just said that it affected you or, or just went with a different kind of energy because you coming with an energy of somebody who was very affected. And maybe if you watch this back, you could tell. And I know that people are coming at you. I can see the dislikes. It's crazy on this. But just, I feel like you probably self-aware enough to go back and look at this and be like, does this sound or look like somebody who doesn't care or who's chilling? 
or somebody who does care. And maybe it's because you haven't been rapping in a while, but if you was rapping and you hit somebody with something and they responded to you like this, and then they said, but I don't care about Jamar's diss, right? That would be a weird look. Matter of fact, the angle I feel like Jamar should have took was, and he did take it here later on, was how much his words affect Marshall instead of being like, what he says doesn't affect. You clearly are both affecting each other. We can stop pretending like that's not happening. Like, I don't, I don't get that. A million times, see what it is. I figured out, I live rent-free inside Eminem's fucking brain. See, now that's the angle I'm talking about. That's the angle I could probably see him coming with that would make the most sense and be like, I live rent-free and like I, I, I'm in his mind 24-7. But I will say, what I will say is, and I think both of y'all could just really bury the other person if you were a little bit more honest. If M was to just come out and be like, I grew up listening to Brand Nubian. Jamar's opinion in hip hop mattered to me. And him coming out and unfairly going at me the way he does makes me upset. I feel like then he would have a, a little bit more armor when attacking. Because if you both keep trying to act, that's what I'm saying. It's like, Jamar's clearly affected. If he would just be like one of the highest selling recording artists of all time in any genre is making attacks at me on record. So yeah, it affects me. You don't have to pretend like... I got squatters rights in that bitch. Okay? Jamar. And might I say, it's fucking filthy in there. <laughs> okay? He talks about we'll listen to a little bit more of this and then we'll, we'll, we, we get the gist. Yeah, I'd be cleaning the sinks for rock kids. Yeah, I want to hear what you say about that. All it is to, yeah, you know what? We clean our fucking houses. You fucking filthy piece of trailer park shit. <laughs> What is that even? <laughs> my bad, y'all. Nebraska got my whew, allergies crazy. Here's the funniest part. <laughs> I need to hear that bar one more time. We're going to end on that bar. Because it's like, I see what you're saying, but that's the weirdest comeback. Like, yeah, yeah, I'd be cleaning the, the, the house. Because you're... <laughs> Hold on. The sinks for Rock Kim and, and all of this. Yeah, you know what? We clean our fucking houses. You fucking filthy piece of trailer park shit. Yo, the reason why I'm laughing so hard is Jamar saying, I'm chilling, and then saying that. It's like, all right, Jamar. I see what's, I see what's going on here. We all see what's going on here. Same thing with M. Like I said a hundred times in this video, y'all both are affecting each other. I honestly thought this was funny listening to because um, I feel like Jamar has literally gotten to a point now where he's just, he don't really have points. He's just like, just berating them. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is. 